Hi, my name is Daniel Granato. I'm from the State University of Ponta Grossa, Brazil, in the South region. And during my postdoc at Wageningen University at Rikyot, the Institute of Food Safety, uh, together with Alex Kut, our technician, and Saskia Van Ruth, my supervisor, we conducted a work with uh, purple grape juices from two different regions, Brazil and Europe. Our main goal was to propose an authentication model based on phenolic composition and antioxidant activity of grape juices producing these two regions and of course access uh, their typicality. Well, for this purpose, organic, biodynamic and conventional grape juices produced in Brazil a total of 65 samples and 31 European grape juices were analyzed for total phenolic content, flavonoids, anthocyanins as well, proanthocyanidins, and 14 phenolic compounds measured by HPLC, a lot of work done. And the bioactivity of grape juices was evaluated by three different assays. The free radical scavenging activity towards DPPH, you can see the place right there, uh, the iron chelating activity as well, and the cuprac, which is the cupric reducing antioxidant power of all juices. So as we have a lot of data, the results were subjected to inferential statistical analysis and chemometrics as well. And we verified after the after a very holistic analysis that Brazilian juices, regardless of the crop systems adopted, presented higher contents of total phenolic compounds, flavonoids, anthocyanins, proanthocyanidins, flavonols, and flavonols as well. And no difference between uh, regions uh, were observed for transresveratrol, malvidine, pelargonidine between countries. So um, this dif the differences actually that uh, we we observed may be related to many factors, but we truly believe that the cultivation plays, of course, and the 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 grape variety also influenced that. Why? Because in Brazil, we cultivate mainly Isabel, Bordeaux, and Concord uh, grapes, which are all from Vitis labrusca varieties. While in European countries, Vitis vinifera species uh, are usually cultivated. So they make like mixes of this, uh, of this species, of these grape juices, and they have like a final product. Well, we verified also using ANOVA that Biodynamic juice, grape juices presented higher, although not significant, uh, higher contents of phenolic compounds and uh, antioxidant activity. But actually, organic and biodynamic are very similar, so we cannot differentiate organic and biodynamic grape juices. Trying to classify the, all the juices from two different regions, we verify that 91% of Brazilian and 97% of European grape juices could be adroitly classified using all those chemical markers. But we verify that DPPH data, total content of gallic acid, malvidine, free glucoside, and total phenolic compounds were the main responsible for such differentiation between countries, I mean between uh, places of origin of grape juices. And no clear differentiation uh, could be obtained uh, between organic and biodynamic grape juices. So uh, probably this is due to um, there, there are no standardized protocols adopted by different farmers in these locations to characterize biodynamic as one specific uh, type of cultivation system. Well, at least for grape juices. Well, that was our research and stay tuned because soon enough you're going to see other articles from our group dealing with the chemical composition and the bioactivity of organic and conventional grape juices from Brazil. Okay, thanks.